so hello everyone welcome you all in this videos uh, we are going to learn very very important definitions that will help us to solve the remaining questions of the probability this uh, this video is a very important video and uh, this is the actually theoretical videos uh, all the theories will cover here like what is event what are the different types of event how uh, what is the algebra of event how we can uh, find the union of two event intersection of two events very very important and uh, if you have not watched the videos of set so first complete that videos because <clears throat> now onward whatever the quality that we have learned in the class 10 is not same here right so we will learn up to something advanced so for that we have to very much careful this all definitions so let us start the video so first of all uh, hopefully you all know uh, what is the meaning of event right so event is what actually when uh, we are doing any random experiment right so whatever we want that is our event or or whatever the things that we are talking about is our end event. Let us suppose uh, we are throwing a dice, right? And I want that the outcome is a six. So which uh, which uh, sample point we are talking about? Six. So six is an event here for us. So event is nothing but that is the subset of a sample space. Or you can say uh, the event is a sample point that is a part of sample space. So see here what is the event? So event of any set E, mm, event is a subset. We are denoting generally E event E of the sample space is called an event. So what is the event actually? Event is a subset of sample space. Hopefully you remember the subset. If you have not uh, uh, know the subset, then I recommend you to watch the uh, set first set theory chapter okay so this is the subset of sample space is called event right let us uh, take one examples here that uh, variable let us suppose we are tossing two coins right uh, right when we are tossing two coins so whenever we are tossing tossing two coins right two coins so you know how to write the sample space for that hh maybe or ht maybe or th maybe or tt maybe total the four sample point in the sample space now we can consider one by one as event so whatever you want actually whatever uh, you're talking about that point is your event you can take any subject let us suppose i describe the event here this is the sample space we it as s we can so if we want E1 as an event, let us suppose I am describing your E1. E1 is the one event we are talking about. So here we are talking about that exactly uh, two tails will become. Exactly two tails. Means we are talking about that outcomes in which two tail is there. So you can see uh, how many uh, that things are two tails. So only this one. So in this sample, uh, a space this is our the event here in this case so we can suppose that a is the event here we have taken so this is the two uh, tail if i take the next you let us suppose that at least one tail see here this is a very important word at least at most exactly right this is a very important word at least means uh, you are getting the minimum limit it means this is the at least means above this is expect, uh, acceptable. Similarly, at most means you are getting the upper limit. Means below this is acceptable, but above this is not acceptable. At most means the higher one. At least means the lower one. So if it is given here, uh, the number of uh, the number of tail is at least one. At least one means here two tail is also acceptable. So in this case, this this will work. This will work. And if two tail is there, then no problem because at least condition is on at least. So this is uh, HT maybe or TH maybe or TT maybe. So this is the sample. This is here the uh, our events, right? If we're talking about this event in which at least one tail is coming. 
Next evaluator suppose we suppose here C and what is here that at most one head, you know, at most one head means at most more than one head is not acceptable. Yes, less than one head is acceptable. Means at most one head. So this case will not be considered because here two head is there. This is considered here because one head is only. This is also acceptable. This tail tail case is acceptable. Yes, because at most one head is given. So this is also acceptable. There is no head in it. So it is uh, acceptable because at most a limit is on upper side, right? So two head is not acceptable, but less than two head is acceptable, right? At most one head means head tail is acceptable, tail head is acceptable, and if no head is there, then also acceptable, right? So this is the uh, this uh, events here. Next D, if we talking about second toss is not head. Right, second toss is not head. Right, so we have to focus on the second. That should not be head. Means second must be tail only. So let us put our second part is tail. And any condition on the first? No. So first may be head or it may be tail. So that th or tt may be the case. Why not this? Because second is here head. Why not this? Because second is here head. So this we can't consider because question already said that. The second outcome should not be the head. So this is the uh, here event for this case. Similarly, uh, tail is at most two. Now see, at most two tail. So at most two tail is this one. One tail considered. Yes, okay. One tail, no tail also considered because we are uh, talking about the at most two tail. So more than two tail is not acceptable, but up to two tail is acceptable. So here it will be always coming in this situation. If the question, uh, if uh, if we make the event that the tail is more than two, so we all know that when we are tossing a uh, two coin, so maximum two uh, tail we get not more than two. So what is the here in this case? That is the five means no uh, such any outcomes in which more than two tail is there. What is? So in this way actually we have to do this. Okay or not? So next one here is the types of event, right? So events can be classified. Event can be classified into two various types on the basis of elements they have. Okay. So this is the main classification. Uh, one is the impossible and uh, one is the sure event. Its name uh, clearly. Uh, its meaning is clear. Impossible means that event that can't be happen. Let us suppose we are tossing a coin, right? So when we are tossing a coin, tossing a coin, and if we are talking about what is the probability or what uh, and an event in this outcome, so let us suppose to be five. So let us suppose e event events that outcomes is five events in which outcomes is five. Outcomes coming five, so it is impossible because when we are tossing a coin, so either head or tail, you will get. But you are considering an event in which outcomes is five, so it is impossible. So those events whose probability is zero, or there is impurity, no element in that event is called impurity. It is called an impossible event. So the impurity set five, right, of the simple space. Described as the event is called impossible event. So here five is called what impossible event. Okay, and what's the sure event? The whole sample space is called as the sure event. So what is the uh, sure event? The whole sample space is called means uh, one digit you will get. Let us suppose for examples uh, the same example I am taking here the tossing a coin, right? So tossing a coin. So when you are tossing a coin, either you get head or you are getting tail. Now let us suppose I am making an event E that outcomes, outcomes, outcomes is is either either head, either head or tail, either head or tail. 
Now tell me here, uh, what will be the um, what will be the in this case the probability? Hundred percent. Because either there is a tossing or falling, so either we will get head or we will get tail. This is a sure event, right? So means this actually we have written all the simple space here. So in this case, it will be the sure event. Means in sure event, uh, the total simple space if we take in the subset, that will be the sure event. Impossible event means if we take the empty subset from the simple space or there is no point in the event is called as the impossible and if all the sample space are present in your event that is the sure event so hopefully impossible and sure is uh, you draw the consider let us suppose i am telling let us suppose uh, let us take one more example tossing uh, a die or throwing a dice and i am saying okay, what is the probability that 20 will come now whenever uh, whenever you are throwing a dice, whenever you are throwing a dice, right? Whenever throwing a dice, throwing a dice, throwing a dice. So outcomes may be either one, two, three, four, five or six. But I want that the uh, outcomes is twenty, which is impossible. It's not possible. We are throwing a die. So either you get one to six any number, but you can you can't get twenty. Similarly, if I'm saying if we are throwing a dice, so what is the probability that number uh, number will come from one to six? So it will be sure when you are throwing a dice. So number will be one to six, or I can I can say what is the probability that number is less than six? So less less than seven. So if I take uh, if I am saying less, less than seven. So all the number one, two, six are considering that. That is again sure event. So in sure event, all your sample space will be there. Simple concept. And in possible event, no sample point or no any element of sample point is there. That is the empty subset. Okay. So hopefully, impossible and sure event is clear. Now, the next here we have the simple event, right? So what is the as name says simple event? Okay, so whatever the simple space you have, and if you are taking any one sample point from there, or any one element on the sample point, then that sample space is called as a simple event, right? So if an event E has only one sample point of sample space, right? It is called as a simple event or elementary events, right? So if there is only one simple point, if we are taking, then that is called that is a simple event. So in a simple space containing n distinct element, there are exactly n simple events, right? For example, let us suppose uh, taking one example. So tossing two coin, right? If we are tossing two coin, then simple space, you know, head head. Or here, head, tail, or tail, head, or tail, tail, we we can get. Let us suppose. So, what is the here a simple event? Maybe. So, let us suppose A, a may be the simple event in which both are showing here head. So, this is the one of the simple event. Let us suppose B is the event in which the first coin is showing head, second coin is showing showing tail. This is the simple event. Or you can take uh, C is another event you can make in which first coin showing tail, second coin showing head, or we can take the another event D in which both coin showing tail tail. So in this case actually simple event. Or a little suppose one more example take. Uh, here we are throwing a die, right? Throwing, throwing a die, right? If we are throwing a die. So what is the simple space? We all know that that is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So if I am saying that here uh, A is a event in which outcomes is three, let us suppose A A is an event in an events event in which outcomes in which in which outcomes is three. Outcomes is three. Outcomes is three. So okay. So only one case here. 
in which outcomes is three. That one. So this is a simple event. Simple event is simply it is only one simple point we have to take. So here how many simple point? One, two, three, four, five. This was a six simple point. Here what is the simple point number one? Simple point number two. Simple point number three. Simple point number four. So in this case here we have proved four simple point. Got it now? So in the simplest case, how many the elements that is called as the simple point? So hopefully simple event is clear to you. Fine. Okay. So next one is what compound event, right? So what is the compound event here? So if an event has more than one simple point, right? So it's a simple event, only one simple point, but here having more than one simple point is called a compound event, right? So if, a, if the event has more than one simple point is called a compound event. Let's take one example. So whenever we are here tossing two, three coins, right? So here what we are doing, tossing three coins. So just for side the simplest case in this case, then we are tossing three coins. So what is the simplest case? Head, 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 or head, head, tail, or head, tail, head, or head, maybe tail, head, head, or it may be tail, tail, head. Or it may be like tail, head, tail, or it may be head, tail, tail. Okay, or and all three can be tail. So total eight simple point and let us count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, total eight simple point, right? Now see here we have made one event E. It is exactly one head appeared, right? So we have to consider all those outcomes in which exactly one head appeared. So you can see this is the one case in which one head is there. This is also one case, one head is there. This is also one case in which one head is there. So this all three will be considered as our uh, element of our this outcomes that is you can say your event so what is the elements here that is t t h one more is t h t and one more is here h t t so you can see here, here uh, how many simple points are there in this event three so that is called as a compound means here more than more than one Simple points are there. Similarly, let us if we consider uh, this second example, he has uh, considering if as an event, if it at least one head appeared. Now, hopefully, you learn the concept of one head. So, see here you have F as an event in which at least one head, right? So, at least one head means more than one head will be considered as uh, our favorable case. Means here you can see all the cases will come except this one, right? So this will be your uh, consider yes because at least one, so more than one will also be counted. So at least one head. So H H H H H T H T H T H H here, okay? Here and T T H. After that, this is also okay. T H T and H T T. So this all I have this one. So this is what actually the compound event. Why compound event? To be more than one simple points are there. Here, how many simple points total? Seven. So this is compound event. Similarly, uh, let us write this G also. So G is here. What? At most one head appeared. Means maximum one head. So here, what are the case actually? At most one head means this case and all this second case also we have to remove. So this may be there that T T T means no head, it's acceptable. One head also acceptable, you can write H T T T H T T T H. But this four cannot be can take why? Because here two heads are there. In this case, three heads are there. So in this uh, it's written at most one head. So means maximum we can take one head. More than one head, not acceptable. So hopefully you get the concept of compound event. Fine.